This is the iMac 27 inch late 2012 and I'll be upgrading this almost 12 year old PC from its current state to a state that is reasonable by today's standards. Here is a quick look at what I'll be upgrading in this video. I'll be upgrading the RAM from the standard 8GB to the maximum 32GB and the storage from 1TB HDD to 1TB SSD. I will also be upgrading the operating system from Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.6 to Mac OS Sonoma 14.4.1, the latest Mac OS as at the time of this video. This video comes along with timestamps, so feel free to skip to whichever portion of the video interests you. This iMac came mounted on a VESA mount, so the first thing I do is proceed to unmount the iMac from the stand. I lay the iMac face down on a flat surface and unscrew the mounting screws to take off the stand and the VESA mount. The RAM is located here behind this compartment door and I have 4 8GB memory modules that add up to 32GB of RAM. I use this screwdriver to open up the RAM compartment door and I release and drop the memory slot holder to remove the two 4GB memory modules and proceed to replace them with the four 8GB memory modules. Next, I turn the iMac over and I hold down the power button for 10 seconds to drain out any charge that might still be stored in the iMac. I have here some tools that I will be using to take off the iMac screen and replace it back when the upgrade is done. I will be using this plastic cutting tool to separate the iMac screen from the frame. It is advisable to begin from one end of the screen and work your way gently to the other end moving the tool deeper as you go along. The idea here is to cut the adhesive that is holding the screen in place, so you could easily take off the screen. I go over from one end to the other with the cutting tool a couple of times, before attempting to lift the screen away from the frame. I make use of this plastic guitar pick tool to go over the areas that I've worked on ensuring that the adhesive is no longer holding down the screen. Note that the area around the camera has no adhesive, so be sure to skip this area while cutting around the screen. It is very important to be gentle and not forceful, since the edges are fragile and could crack if too much force is applied. I experienced this firsthand and I landed a hairline crack on the screen. Thankfully, the crack is surface deep and will only affect the aesthetics but not the overall function of the display. Next, I gently lift the screen to detach two connectors connecting the screen to the PC board. To detach the base of the screen, locate these threads and pull on them to release the screen from the frame. Don't go over the base with the cutting tool as this is unnecessary and might damage the screen. After detaching the screen, I take some time to clean out the dust that has gathered on the inside and also to peel off the adhesive that is still attached to the frame. I unscrew the left speaker to provide some space to remove the hard disk drive. Next, I install the 1TB SSD using an improvised empty SSD box to hold it in place. I had tried the installation earlier using a SSD holder, but it was problematic and I kept receiving multiple errors when attempting to write to the SSD. So, I feel it's important that your setup provides a direct connection from the SATA connector to the SSD drive. 
Next, I use some paper tape to secure the screen in place. Before proceeding to install macOS Sonoma using OpenCore Legacy Parcher. For this step, you need to have a USB installation media created on a macOS PC that runs the OpenCore Legacy Parcher app. If you are interested in how to create a USB installation media, check in the video description. I connect my USB installation media to the iMac, turn it on, and proceed with the installation of macOS Sonoma 14.4.1. I choose my language, select Dix Utility, and format the SSD in APFS format. I close Dix Utility and select Install macOS Sonoma. I accept the terms of use, select the installation location, and click on Continue to proceed. The installation lasts for 36 minutes and the iMac restarts a few times during the process. After the installation, I proceed to set up the iMac for first time use of macOS Sonoma. Once completed, it is very important to install OpenCore Legacy Parcher to the SSD. So I run the app and proceed to get this done. I turn off the iMac once more, take off the screen, and proceed to work on sealing the iMac screen with the adhesive strips. The sealing strips have numbers and are helpful in placing them in the correct order. When the adhesive strips are all set up as desired, don't forget to replace the two connector cables before finally sealing the screen in place. Once sealed, I turn on the iMac once more to test it out. I connect a wireless keyboard and mouse to help me with the tests. The iMac is responsive and works really well on macOS Sonoma 14.4.1. I also realized that the latest patch of OpenCore Legacy Patcher has fixed the issue of freezing when attempting to capture the screen using QuickTime Player. Apple TV opens but I'm unable to view anything on the screen when attempting to play movies. However, videos on YouTube play just fine. I am satisfied with the final outcome of this upgrade and plan to carry out more tests on this iMac in the coming days. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you have any questions on this upgrade, you can leave them down in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye for now.